guys, my name is Devi Arianti. I'm your lecturer in your English class. Hello, my name is Hamida Sitana Halisa. I play the role of reporter. Hello guys, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Ali Fuala Firdaus and I'm play the role of Alif. Hello, I'm Nasra Pandra Azhara and I play the role of presenter. Hello, my name is Kino Lee Afifa. I play the role of doctor. Hello, my name is Salman Azhara. I play the role of Sister Alip. Do your best, so you will never regret in the future. Okay? Spirit and success. Good luck. Spirit. Fighting. Success and spirit. spectators we'll see you again at the coverage of islamic counseling guidance in the morning morning news will accompany your morning we we'll give you information that comes from village b where there's case of a infestation in a teenage child the tragic case of a teenager in village b who suffered blindness after being assaulted by a friend of his the victim initially alif is now suffering from severe trauma from his friend and prefers to play at home his vision was very disturbed, even to see he had to close one eye to do it. Now we've been in touch with one of our reporters, who's at the victim's residence. Hello, is it connected? Okay, well connected. Thank you for being here, Camila. Uh, I'm Camila Sitenor Halisa for Breka Engineers. Okay, right now I'm the victim resident, and next to me there, the victims are the other. Do you still like playing? 
I'm drawing like this. Okay, thank you for your time. Maybe not interview this time. I'm going back to the studio. Thank you, Hamida, for providing information about the condition of the victim. Next, we've been in contact with Dr. Nusrina, a psychiatrist who focuses on developmental psychology. Hello, Doc. How it's going? Hello, Alhamdulillah. I'm fine. Doc, uh, I'd like to ask, what's the doctor's reaction to what happened in Village Week? Recently, about the eye injection done by a teenager. According to my analysis, his occurrence founded by teenagers are often ignored by the perpetrators because parents of their age don't really understand the norm. And what influence influence the perpetrator to commit the act? Violent acts usually occur because the perpetrators he has more power than the others. Is the character of perpetrator shaped by environment and genetics? And what about the expert analysis of the victim's mental health? Yeah, the great thing. My research believes the human character cannot be independent of the influence of the environment that affects a person from birth. And my diagnosis is that the victim has mental disabilities such as PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, and physical disabilities. How can prevention be done for PTSD victim? Whether supervisory can be carried out independently or request assistance from other parties? We need to give encouragement to the victim and give advice and guidance to the potatoes and we also need to socialize mental health awareness among us the public. Okay Doc, thank you for showing up. You're welcome. Good audience at home with all the news this morning. That information at one close us this morning. I'm Nazwa Kamila Azahara. Thank you for your attention and goodbye. See you.